Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. My name is Dylan Jones and in today's session we're going to be demonstrating how you can use Trimble Business Center to measure clearances with scan data. In this session I will be using Trimble Business Center Advanced Edition along with the scanning module. I'll begin by performing some basic measurements. I'll move into a scan to CAD command and then demonstrating the points to surface measurement tool. Okay, so in my TBC project, what I have here uh, is my 3D view. Uh, shows my overhang point cloud above, and then my ground surface on the bottom, and then my SX10 little symbol there uh, showing where that scan took place. Um, so I'm going to turn off that, that scanner image. And then if you look in the view filter manager here, I have on um, my scan, my... Uh, overhang region of that scan and uh, the ground surface. So uh, utilizing the ground surface and the scan points uh, we can do just quick measurements using the measure distance tool. The measure distance tool will allow you to then um, just calculate a distance between uh, many two points that you see on the screen. So if I wanted to measure from this point here down to um, the ground surface I just do simple click there. It'll show you your, your measurements over on the right hand side. You'll also get um, a history of your measurements. Uh, the cool thing about this is that you can save these measurements by clicking the save button. And then um, you can save this distance measurement into its own layer. So I'm going to create a new measurements layer. And then whether you want to display the slope distance, horizontal, or vertical distance. Um, so this is what we'll display then on your 3D view or your, your plan view from here on. We'll go ahead and click Save. And then now that is an actual object then uh, that's saved uh, to your view. So that's a very quick example of using the Measure Distance tool to uh, compute uh, clearances. Uh, and we can turn off that layer at any time. So the next thing we might want to do to speed up this process is to have the program program actually measure the uh, clearances uh, from points to the surface for all of our points that we select. So um, the process for that is going to be to first convert your scan data to CAD data. We don't need millions and millions of points to simply compute uh, some uh, clearances on this overhang. Uh, we can actually sample down this point cloud size um, by using um, the scan to CAD tool. Okay, so to use the scan to CAD tool, what we're going to do is first select a scan, uh, set of scan points, and then choose our sampling type. So for this instance, I want to sample um, uh, one point every half a foot. All right, and I'm going to put that on uh, CAD layer and then simply go ahead and hit apply. Okay, so now I should have some, some uh, CAD points with elevations on them. Uh, uh, now present underneath my point cloud, I'll hide my point cloud. There's my CAD points. You can take a look at those. So those are spaced out every half foot. So I'm going to close my uh, uh, scan to CAD command. And then the next thing I'm going to do is make a selection on my CAD points, right click, and then convert those CAD points to survey points. Okay, and then we can choose to delete the CAD points when we're done. Uh, we can uh, choose to create grid only points. Um, and then we can choose to give these points a feature code. So if I wanted to code these as OH for overhang, I can do that. And then a starting ID for the survey points. So I'm going to start these at um, 10,000. I'll click OK. It's going to do the conversion. And now if I zoom in here, you'll see that each point now has a point ID and a code associated to it. If I look in the properties, I can see the grid coordinates and everything for um, each of those points. So now the last step is to compute a, uh, a clearance report or a uh, what's called a points to surface um, analysis 
using this selection of points and the surface uh, given uh, whatever that might be. For me, this it's the ground surface that I will be comparing it to. So I'm going to select my points. I'm going to select my ground surface. And then I'm going to hit the Apply button. And in just an instant, it uh, it reports out the delta elevations between each point ID to the ground surface. And we can see that in our far right column here um, in our uh, reported delta elevations. So we can scroll through this list. We can find any anomalies. We can sort these lists as well. So if I click on delta elevation here, it'll sort from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. So I can, uh, so I can specifically find my lowest point click on the far left column here um, and actually pick out that exact point from um, uh, from my 3D view. So one other advantage of using the points to surface tool is having the reporting option. Um, you can see here in our uh, reported delta elevations pane, uh, we have um, this report button here. If we go ahead and click the report button, it's actually going to spit us out an HTML uh, file uh, that we can use, print off, whatever it might be, and get a full report of each point with its northing easting elevation and then the surface elevation and delta elevation. That'll conclude today's Tech Talk. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at one of our offices or send us an email at survey underscore support at frontierprecision.com. Thanks and have a great day.